Hello friends, welcome to CS Tutes. Today we are going to learn that how a Turing machine can act as an eraser. So the objective is to design a Turing machine that erases all the non-blank symbols on the tape. So whatever the non-blank symbol is present in our string, we need to remove all those non-blank symbols and we need to design a Turing machine for this particular purpose. Now there is one condition given to us that the sequence of non-blank symbols does not contain any blank symbol in between. That means the string in which there are non-blank symbols it will not consist of any blank symbol in middle of the string. To solve this particular problem, let us define the six tuples of the Turing machine. So Turing machine is represented using these six tuples. First is capital Q, the states present in the Turing machine. Then next is your summation that is the symbols from the infinite tape except blank symbol. Third is our gamma that is a combination of all the symbols present in the infinite tape and blank symbol. Then there is delta that is the representation of the transitions or uh, it can be represented in three forms either in the form of a transition graph or in the form of a transition table or we can represent it in the form of a transition function. Then there is a state Q0 that is our initial state of the Turing machine and then there is a state H that is halt state at which the Turing machine will halt and will not proceed further. So we can consider the halt state as the final state also. In case you are not clear with the tuples of the Turing machine, you can go back and watch our video on introduction to Turing machine. Now let's solve this particular question in which we need to create an eraser that can erase all the non-blank symbols from the string given to us. For example, suppose we are given this particular string. Now whenever we are talking about the Turing machine, then the starting and the ending of the string is represented by a blank symbol hash. So the hash in the beginning and then and the hash in the ending represents the non uh, represents the blank symbol and all the other symbols that are between these two hash are our non blank symbol and these non blank symbols need to be replaced by a hash in order to delete this particular string. So our objective is to erase all the elements of this string. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace each and every single element of this full string by a hash. Initially our read write head is on the rightmost symbol of the string. So we are saying that considering that the read write head is scanning the rightmost non blank symbol first. So initially our read write head is on the rightmost non blank symbol. So the first symbol is our A. Now in this place we can either have a A or we can have a B. Now what we have to do let's discuss like this. Suppose we are having a string A B. So the starting is represented using a hash and the ending is also represented using a hash and our tape is currently on B. Now we need to replace this B by a hash. So what we are going to do? We are going to replace the B by a hash. So this B will be replaced by a hash that means we have deleted B from our string and our read right head will move to the left direction and it will point to the next character that is our A. Now we need to delete this A. So in order to erase the A from the string we are going to replace A by hash. So now the new string which is obtained as the output will have 4 hash that means we have removed all the non-blank symbols and replace these non-blank symbols by 
the blank symbols and this is the required output that means we need to erase all the non-blank symbols so this is our objective now in order to achieve this particular thing what we are doing we are considering that currently we are on the state q0 so initially we are on the state q0 we can read either a or b so any of the symbol from the input infinite tape can be taken so first considering that the symbol is a then we will remain on the state q0 itself and this symbol a will be replaced by a hash that means we are removing the symbol a or we are erasing the symbol a and are replacing it by a hash and then we will move our read write head to the left direction now suppose we are on the state q0 itself the symbol which we are reading is b so we can either read a or we can read a b so the state is same q0 we will again be on the same state q0 and this b will be replaced by a hash that that means we are erasing the symbol b from our string and it is replaced by a blank symbol that is hash and our read write head will again move to the left direction till now there is no requirement of changing the state because we are doing one thing for each and every symbol in our string we are going to replace it by a hash so we can consider it as a loop over q0 and we will replace all the a and all the b by the hash that's why we are not changing state over here we are still on the same state q0 now suppose we have read the full string and we have reached to the last symbol of our string so the last symbol will be a hash in our string the last symbol would be a hash because i have already told you that the starting and ending of the string is represented by a hash now we are on the state q0 and the symbol read is hash then we will reach to the new state why are we changing the state over here because we want to find out the final state we want to have a halt state on the after reaching to the halt state we can say that our string is complete and we have obtained a output that's why we are changing the state over here so once our string is complete and we have obtained the hash then we are going to change the state as halt state so we will move from state q0 to state h and hash will be replaced by hash only and no need to move our read write head further so it's up to you if you want to move it to the left direction or right direction or if you want to take it on the same cell so uh, it is not necessary to move it further to the left direction because whenever you are moving to the left direction then you are going to obtain a hash only because no further element is there in your string so whenever there is no element you are going to encounter hash that's why you can use n over here or you can use l also now we are on the state h and there is nothing left in the string because it is a hash so we can say that our string is accepted and we have reached to the halting state that means the full string is replaced by a blank symbol hash now let's consider this particular string and dry run it using these transitions to see whether the solution obtained is correct or not so currently our head is on the right most non blank symbol a while we are on a uh, and the state is q0 so initially we are on the state q0 we are reading a the state remains q0 and a will be replaced by a hash so we have replaced this a by hash and read write head moves to the left hand side so we are we are on the next a now we are on the next a and then again it is reading a a and the state is q0 itself then a will be replaced by hash that means again we have replaced this a by a hash that means it has also become uh, null blank 
and we are going to move to the left direction. Now the left symbol is B. So we are on the straight Q naught and we are reading a B. While reading a B, we will remain on the straight Q naught itself and this B will be replaced by a hash that means it will also be erased and then again we will move to the left direction. Now we are on the left direction and we are on the symbol B. State remains same Q naught reading a B. B will be replaced by a hash. Again this B is also removed. Then the tape moves to the left direction. So the symbol is A. So this A will also be removed. Now we have removed this B and the A is also removed. So these two symbols are removed. Now we are on the B as we have moved to the left direction and the state is Q naught itself. Then the B is also erased. It is replaced by a hash. Then we move to the left direction. Again the state is Q naught and A is red. So we will remain on the straight Q naught and A will be replaced by hash. That means we have erased this particular A also. So that means all the symbols in our string are replaced by a hash. That means we have erased all the symbols. Now we are moving to the left direction and we are on the hash. Now when we are on the straight Q naught and hash is encountered, that means the state changes to H and we will remain on the same cell. So again we are on the same cell that is this hash only. We are on the hash and the state H along with the hash means that the string is complete and where we can say that it is accepted. So in this way, a Turing machine can be generated for erasing any string. So this was the example of a Turing machine acting as an eraser. Now, you can also represent the transition function as I have told you that the transition function can be represented in three ways. So one was in the form of the function. The second is in the form of a transition graph or transition diagram and third is in the form of a table. So in this video we are not discussing about the table. We will only show you that how can you represent these functions in the form of a transition diagram. So there are two states, state Q0 and state H. Now reading the symbol A, A will be replaced by hash and you will move to the left direction. So you are on the same straight Q naught. That's why you are uh, currently you are on a straight Q naught and then you will be on the same straight Q naught. That means there is a loop. You are reading the input symbol A. So you will write A over here and then this A will be replaced by a hash. So put a symbol like this and then in the bracket write hash that means a is replaced by a hash and you will move to the left direction so l is written over here now similarly you are on the same straight q naught and reading the symbol b then b will be replaced by a hash so we are writing hash over here and then you are going to move to the left direction so l is written over here now next is if you are on the straight Q naught and reading the symbol hash, so we are on the straight Q naught and reading the symbol hash, then hash will be replaced by hash and the tape will not move to any of the left or right direction. So we are writing N over here, the tape is not moving to the left or right direction and the straight will change from Q naught to H. So we are moving from straight Q naught to straight H. So in this way you can represent the transition functions for a Turing machine in the form of a transition graph. Now as I have already told you to represent a Turing machine there is requirement of 6 tuples. So we have discussed about delta. Now Q in our case will be only 2 states are there. So capital Q is equal to set of Q0, H. Then summation is equal to all the symbols on the infinite tape except blank symbol. So all the symbols are A comma B. Then gamma is equal to all the symbols on the infinite tape along with the blank symbol. So it is A, B and hash. Then Q naught is our initial state. That's why we have written Q naught. And H is our halt state. That's why we have written H. 
so that's all about this particular video please like and subscribe our channel ps tune stay tuned for more videos in case of any queries please leave a comment in the comment section below thank you